hi everyone. I'm all ready for King's Cross in London. Today is Friday the 13th of September, which means tomorrow is Saturday the 14th of September. So it's time for the big London, big pilgrimage convention in London, obviously, to celebrate the life and music of one of the biggest glam rock stars that ever lived. Mark Boland. Okay then, as you know, I do keep talking about it quite a lot. Now I'm very excited to go to London because I've never been there. And not unless you include a school trip where we just sort of went to visit a big museum, National History Museum. I just remember being on the coach and going around this big circle island, Trafalgar Square is it? Um, and it was outside the big building where the Queen lives, um, Buckingham Palace. And that's about it. Sounds a bit strange for a Brit never to have been to London, you know? But there you go, that's me. This is why I'm excited. And obviously because it's the big convention for Mark Bowler, you know? So, yes, this is it. You know, is this too much, do you think? I'm wearing my spandex pants, which are a little bit big, keep falling down. Now, I must warn you, if you're in the vicinity tomorrow of maybe going to see T-Rex to see it is Linton at the O2, um, I wouldn't sort of stand anywhere near me, because you might get more than your bargain. <laughs> and it won't be a pretty sight. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Anyway, this is my outfit, one of my outfits. I won't be travelling down on the train dressed like this um, because I've got another outfit for the train and I don't want to wear my best stuff, you know, on the actual train. So I will get changed and, I, you know, I'm thinking I just don't know what to take, you know, what to wear. I'm so indecisive. I changed my mind like the wind. You know, already my back, which is just was trying to travel so light, just a backpack has now sort of ex sort of expanded into a bag on wheels, as well as obviously my carry-on sort of little strap over sort of bag, um, my Mark Boland bag, which I think I've showed you it before. So I'll have a bag on each shoulder, probably, a bag on my back, pulling along another bag, which I really didn't want to do. And I'll probably have a bag on my head as well, knowing me, you know. But this is a few of my outfits, and I was, as I said, I just don't know what to wear. I definitely want to wear my spandex and my thigh length boots. And I thought that they would go with just about everything. Because you know, obviously when you're travelling, you're very limited in what you can take and you've got to make sure you can mix and match. Um, so that's about it really. Um, yes, yeah, so I've decided on pinky cut sort of candy floss hair. Yesterday I was wearing sort of a bluey green colour, but I think I prefer this one a lot better. And obviously my heart shaped shades. And obviously got a lot of glitter going on here. You know, it's the 70s. Um, this is, you know, this is the 70s look, very glam rock, sort of punky look. Um, I'm presuming there's going to be a lot of people in London dressed up, and obviously this is a lot of people's lots. Um, glam rock, the 70s, and Mark Bowler. You know, and why shouldn't it be? Who's to say we can't dress like this? Even if it's just for a day, as I said, you know, this is your style, this is your everyday attire, you know. So bloody what? Okay then. Anyway, let's just get on with it. So obviously I'm wearing my Mark Bowling t-shirt, which has been with me for 30 years now, and I love it. Right then. Now, a big craze of the 70s was called denim on denim, which means you sort of get an item of clothing made of denim. For instance, a pair of denim shorts. And then you team it up with something else denim, but not the same sort of denim. So for instance, this is dark denim and this is light denim. Just so it looks completely ridiculous. And this is what we did in the 70s. And this has got lots of little studs on. And it was from Primark. It's got the cut-off frayed sleeves like so. 
Actually, I'll put it on. There you go. Now, what was I wearing my leather jacket? So I'll wear that on the top. Not so. There. I'm ready to rock down London. There you go. So I've got that and obviously my bangles. Got a few of these. There's those. Now it might be a little bit chilly in London. So I thought I would take a skater dress which is sort of made of warm material. And it's in the sort of stripy design. You know, the parallel line sort of look which is in the fashion at the moment which is a bit like um, what's his name off that film oh what's his name Beetlejuice the Beetlejuice trousers you know black and white stripes that's what I call it Beetlejuice yes Beetlejuice dress that's it now I have some sort of leggings which I thought looked kind of 70s which will go with my boots and they have leopard print green down the side and they've got like, I call it like a wool sort of paper design 70s <laughs> so I've got those leggings and I've got a couple of t-shirts as well as my Mark Bowman a couple of Ramones that one and there is a red one which is that one and I have um, lots of leopard print just call me Bet Lynch so I've got this kind of see through top and also this in leopard print which is oh which is a cat suit jumpsuit whatever you call them and this is leopard print when I can get it the right way up and I've put a blue belt on it to sort of jazz it up a little bit to make it look more 70s so there's that one and I have this scarf which has got lots of different coloured schools on it was from Primark a while ago and they're about four pounds they've always had these in Primark lots of school scarves they're looking good right then to travel on the train I thought I would wear another skater dress because I love skater dresses Ooh. Oh, my records have fallen. Hmm. The ghost of my bowl. Oh, I just had a cold shiver go right through me. Right then, anyway, this is the dress I brought the other day from Primark, and they're five pounds. And they also had them in green and also plain colours like grey and black. Um, can't remember what else. Red. This one is sort of a dark red maroon colour and it has black spots on and they're supposed to be tight fitting. Um, my usual size look really small so I went to size up and it is really tight but that's the style of it and these are the new autumn season. As I said they've just had these in £5 so not too bad I thought it'll do for the train with a pair of black leggings and my boots and my leather jacket. I don't want to look too crazy on the train because I don't like sort of drawing attention to myself. Um, I am a little bit of a wallflower, believe it or not. Okay then, so that's sort of my gear for London. I can't wait to meet everybody. Um, they probably all hide away when they see me coming. <laughs> I don't blame them really. <laughs> okay then, so that's it and I'll see everyone tomorrow. I am actually making another video. <laughs> <coughs> I thought I might as well, you know, I'm in the mood, <laughs> um, obviously, <laughs> and it's about Mark Bolan actually, funnily enough it's the spiritual side of Mark Bolan and I'm um, getting all creepy and spooky at the moment, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so anyway, stay tuned for the next video, the spiritual side of Mark Bolan, and I hope to see you all tomorrow, and obviously there's a few people going on Sunday, and Monday, the actual obviously the anniversary is always on the 16th of September regardless you know the day of the week it falls on so we're sort of lucky it's falling on a weekend and I've got a feeling the sun is going to shine I just really have 
<laughs> okay then, so, and obviously a lot of people are travelling down today. Friday the 13th, I wouldn't fancy it myself because I'm superstitious. I really am. Um, anyway, yeah, so good luck to everybody. You know, safe journeys to one and all, to all the Bond fans. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. And um, ciao for now. Rock on.